in so many of the teachings I've done, in so many of the lectures, we always said, oxygen in the environment of the liquid of the Earth behaves as a magnetic field. It does. Because you have to look at the gravitational magnetic structure of it. Actually, what it does, why you can suspend everything in the liquid, or put things in the liquid of water, is because of this property of the oxygen. Oxygen creates suspension. And that's why it's liquid state. In conjunction with hydrogen, it needs that, is H2O. Itself creates very much like we talk about a real. Can I share a screen? I teach you, you understand. Can I, can you give me the platform? If you want to stop sharing, please, Ali. Rick, can you stop sharing, please? Yeah, okay. You got to understand this, that uh, you have hydrogen, two hydrogen, and you have an oxygen. Then if you have another molecule of hydrogen in a matter state, you see what it does. Why you suspend everything, why liquid, why water is the most common liquid material, and how I always said oxygen behaves. These are your oxygen, these are your hydrogen. What happens is that this locks with this. You remember nano positioning? But look what happens here too. And they all pass somewhere in here. But they allow the suspension in two ways. If I'm going to be more precise, this is what you're going to get. And there's the rubber. Rubber, 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 There's my rubber. Where can I see my rubber? There it is. So if you look at it, we take this one off, you will see better what it goes. I have left a legacy of knowledge for the Iranian government, the Iranian nation. If well understood, understand what they had in their head. This is why, if you look at it, here, if I go back, as a pen, here, it's a nano structure behavior which allows the water to keep its distance and anything can fit into it. That's why water is part of the composite structure of the human body. Because it allows other elements to suspend in this gap. Water in the body of the man is not there to be that you need it to observe it. The water in the body of a man is to create this nano structure, because don't forget, I keep on telling you, and I've taught from the beginning, that the body of the man is in a vacuum condition. In a vacuum condition, when you bring liquid like water, it creates the nano structure, plasmatic gas structure, the gap, which the other elements can place and position and release their energy or absorb energy in a gravitational magnetic field strength. In so many ways, if you can go in that direction, you can create reactors out of the water. In a way, it go back to the beginning of just, somebody said we use CH3, the hydrogen, when it goes into the center, adds to the mass, but it still stays in the Gans state of plasma. And you can see how it's created. This material, at this moment, there is another material, when you go above, by another factor of 152, 153, 
that gives you universal plasmatic condition. What it means, if you understand it, you can travel from universe to universe. Man is beyond your imagination, but in time you understand the teaching. Now you've seen the condition of the plasmatic condition of water, why it is. The water shows the same behavior. Now, the more or less, the 115, and then you go up by 1.53 up, in that level, because at the moment, being in the structure of the solar system, you can't reach that point. When you go into the galaxy and beyond galaxies in the open expanse of the universe, then that's the element you need to create to be able to be suspended across to travel from universe to universe. It's the structure which you have to understand as a plasmatic condition, not as a matter condition. And you keep on falling back and I keep on pushing you back on the other direction. One of the easiest way to make a system for even measuring magnetic gravitation on Earth is to use water, gallons of water. But when you say they have found and there is a property in materials like this, is because this material in a given condition behaves and matches into universal magnet. On the Earth magnetic field, you have iron which behaves that it can suspend of self or itself inside it. And if you look, when you have a hemoglobin, iron, it's a one suspender of the Earth, in one suspender of the liquid environment, which leads to the creation of the red color of hemoglobin. Because you have both H and O in your amino acid, in the Gans state. The friction of the gravitational magnetic field leaves the residual color of red, because in that position, the structure behaves in a Gans state. Because now, you have brought in another element, which now, it itself adds plus. Just add what's homoglobin. And then add the power of iron, not atomic. Go back into what I taught you, by factor of the plasmatic strength, magnetic gravitation. You'll find out it's about 1.5. Sometimes 1.6. And then you have the same factor in respect to the space travel with this element and 1.5. 1.52 is just about right figure, in that it depends what material, in what condition, where you bring it in. Then you can travel into dimensions of the universal, not the space. But if you can use, when you see the materials you don't understand, is used in certain ways, is because it shows the advancement of the knowledge of the people who have used it. It means these are universal travelers, not galaxial travelers. The ones who use this material are the people who have learned how to travel across this universe, because it's part of the gravitational magnetic field of the universal level. So you're just like a magnet in between. You've seen how we show the little magnets we put and the other ones hang on and hold on and find their gap. You become one of those, but you have to understand it. <laughs>